What up everyone, it's Lexi and in today's episode of Train Insane Velocity Run we're gonna come back a little bit to the basics because it started to be actually pretty hard now, right? And in the first episode of Train Insane Velocity Run we have discussed how to do slalom and some of you guys in the comments said that it would be nice if we continued this topic and went to the wider slalom, meaning that the flags are not in one lane but are kind of moved around because this is a different type of slalom and you will approach it in slightly different way than the other one. So this is what we're gonna be discussing today. As always, the track that I will be flying today is fully available for you to download on Velocidron and the instructions on how to do it are down below in the description box. If you are interested in my game settings and my drone settings in Velocidron, link is also down below. So don't forget to play this in Nemesis mode in Velocidron, free laps and always upload your results to join the leaderboard and join the giveaway in which one random person from the leaderboard is winning a cash coupon from Beta FPV to spend on Beta FPV stuff on their store, which is kind of cool. I think that was enough of talking, let's go to the slalom. Let's start with how the slalom here looks like. So what I want you to do here is to basically go for the slalom, which is gonna be a little bit different than the last one. And the track finishes with two split -esses. It goes basically the same ways. Probably on the way back, you will not see the markers, but it finishes with two split -esses. Now, let me show you three ways of approaching this obstacle. So the beginner way is when you are kind of overshooting stuff a little bit and looking for the flag again and again. And it's kind of okay uh, because, you know, it's safe. But at the same time, if there is other obstacle there or another pilot, you might just hit them. And also on the way back, I'm kind of forcing you to be a little bit tighter because the gate here is tighter and, you know, just better. Now, most people, what they are doing is just putting full throttle and kind of being jerky like this. So you are using a lot of throttle and you are using basically a lot of roll and yaw for some reason. <laughs> and what I want you to do is to smoothly and with a little bit less throttle, just go as close to the flags as humanly possible, in which you will see, even though I'm not using much throttle, and it looked a little bit slower, it still is faster in the final result. Now to give you an overview of how are you doing, if you are flying this track in more than 20 seconds, maybe you are overshooting stuff too much and not using enough speed and enough roll to kind of move around those gates. It's really important to use roll and the yaw at the same time, just to have a little bit of a sharper turn and get kind of like orbit around the flag on one side. It is extremely, extremely important. If you are less than 20 seconds, you may be using too much throttle or still overshooting a little bit too much, which is totally okay, but I would like you to get a little bit less throttle, just get it down and try to get as close to those flags as possible. So if you are less than 15 seconds, all you have to do is to train more, get closer to the flags and then at the throttle. Now let me show you how it should look like without talking. for you today and I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make the algorithm extremely extremely happy. If you want to learn about the slalom that has just one line of flags be sure to check the video right here and the description box. You can also find it in Velocidron Trained Insane playlist on my channel. Don't forget to play this track in Velocidron Nemesis mode, free laps and always upload your results. The winner of the last week's challenge and the full list of the leaderboard are in my community tab, so be sure to check it out after watching this video. And maybe it's you. Well, hello. 
Please follow the instructions left here for your convenience. Also, check out those two videos right here. And maybe if you really like this series and you think that it's given you a lot of value, check out the Patreon to join our Discord channel and get a lot of other prizes. Thank you.